Yeah, you're a good kid. You're a good kid. Yes. I'm sure you're a good kid. So, I got five days left in China. Um, I also have to go through the process of officially or finalizing the official process of the quarantine of my cats. And tomorrow morning, about 7 o'clock in the morning, I gotta wake up. I gotta take my cats, I gotta take all their paperwork, and we gotta go to some place to get the finalized paperwork. I also have to bring my passport. I gotta make sure I keep my passport. Yeah, it's in a safe place right now. I'm gonna film that process as well, um, just so that it might help um, people in certain areas. And this is only probably gonna be something about a Shujo thing, because. Uh, as far as I understand, the policies will probably be different compared to uh, different cities and different provinces, more than likely. I have actually no idea. I didn't do any research into what cities do what. I just looked at the airports that I'll be transferring from. So, uh, I gotta go to, I'll be, when I leave China, I'll be taking the flight from Shuzhou to Guangzhou. I got a little bit of a layover there, which I'm gonna make sure that uh, when I get to Guangzhou that um, I uh, I can uh, get all, have all the paperwork and make sure that my cats are completely correct. And I'm gonna wait till probably the last minute as possible to put them on the plane. I am gonna be sticking my uh, GoPro inside my uh, my case to see how they're treated as they are transported from Shuzhou to Guangzhou and then uh, I'll pull the video from Shuzhou to Guangzhou put in another video from Guangzhou to the long flight to LAX uh, in Los Angeles obviously um, <clears throat> then I'm gonna pull the video from that hopefully um, hopefully I can I'll probably have to go through some sort of like questions at the LAX airport. I don't think I'll be able to uh, record that, but I'll try to record it. I got you know my uh, LG phone now, which does uh, suitable recordings, so I'll try and record that, and I could transfer the files, any digital files, off of my LG um, into into my laptop sitting over there so yeah this video is pretty much five days before I gotta leave China um, go back to Canada I'm still backlogged in the India videos that I have recorded so far and um, reaction video to seeing my uh, my cats after the 17 almost 18 days of being away from them so this is going to be quite the experience for my cats and quite a nervous experience for myself. I really hold my doubts about the, how do I say this, the care that's going to be given to my animals at any airport. This is not just saying Chinese airports, this is also going for the United States airports and for the Canadian airports. I am going to be being very critical of what happens to my cats up until the point that I get into whoever's car is going to pick me up at some time at 9 o'clock in the morning on February 23rd. The whole trip from China to Canada is going to take 34 hours. Fuck me. Well, it's going to probably take more than 34 hours. That's just their estimated times. It's not counting delays or anything else like that. And it's not counting how much delays I'm going to. It's not going to count how many delays I'm going to encounter at every airport due to my cats and due to the paperwork. Uh, I suspect the biggest problem is going to be when I get into LAX or into Canada. There's going to be a lot of questions and most of the stuff I have is in full Chinese, but I do have the proper, I will be getting the proper paperwork done. 
uh, as best as possible. I was able to translate as much as possible with the doctor to get the two cat passports, which I'll show a uh, picture somewhere somewhere on uh, both of those. Um, just some basic information, and I just kind of got the labels off of all their vaccinations and immunizations that they received over the past year. And, um, yeah. Let's break it down into time. I mean, I only have one bag to carry and my cats, obviously, to carry as well. Cats are going to be a little bit more difficult, but I think I'm going to try and customize my, uh, my, car my carrier for my cats. I bought one that could fit a medium-sized dog, so two cats should pretty much be comfortable um, in it. And uh, carrying it is a pr pretty much a two-person job, so yeah, I'm going to be very critical of what happens to my cats, and I will be recording the entire thing. And this is something that I've already said, so you can tell my nervousness. So yeah, I mean, not much else to say um, about leaving. Um, other than I think most of the videos that you're going to be seeing are going to be backlog videos till I get my feet stable in, Ch in Canada. Uh, I don't have an apartment in Canada. I don't have a job in Canada. I have no place to s stay in Canada. As far as I know, maybe my, my mother's house I could probably stay in. Uh, but I don't know where my cats are going to stay. That's also kind of a concern for me. I've done a little bit of looking into the apartment scene that allows cats, considering the fact that I am moving my entire life around again for the sixth or seventh time as far as I know uh, as far as I can recall it's um, it's, it's, pain, it's annoying and painstaking and absolutely frustrating and uh, I don't know what other words to put in the focus is Cats are 100% safe to travel outside of China. Once I get them outside of China, I can use whatever magic I can use to be able to get them through the U.S. Customs Inspection or Immigration Import uh, Screening Area. I have to ex totally explain that. And then the Canadian one at the same time. So I don't know what's going to happen in those situations. But hey, say la vie. Let's fucking do it.